Hi guys and welcome back and yes I know this one is late it's been out for a couple of days now but here we are here it is the new track from Shadow of Intent called From Ruin We Rise. Kind of a Phoenix metaphor right there and we're gonna see how it is. I love Shadow of Intent it was one of my favorite albums back in the golden year of 2019 and the fact we got new music it's a given it's gonna sound great it's gonna sound massive. We got Christian Donaldson producing it and Chris Wiseman so we know it's gonna be a banger and the mix is going to be on point so all i can say is let's just jump right into this give this video a like if you enjoy and subscribe to keep updated on all the content but anyway let's get into this write down below what you thought of the track i know it's been out for a couple of days now so yeah get your thoughts in the comments all right three two one click nice piano opening They've really come a long way with their sort of orchestral classical style of music being incorporated with the metal and deathcore side. Violin strings coming in. Mm. Can we just appreciate how Shadow is so good at incorporating orchestral music into the deathcore genre? Something that can be done really cheesily, but here they just find a way to do it just right and a lot of bands could definitely take note of this because it is so well done by them but anyway sorry let's keep going i like this i like these chord progressions everything sounding so tight on that mix guitar sounding massive oh and there's like a there's like a hint of choir in the background going oh that's probably not the right pitch, but you can just faintly hear. But it's like really gluing everything together, if you get what I mean. Ooh. I wasn't expecting to go quieter for the verses, but uh, I like the fact that it gives um, Adam, no, his name not Adam, Ben. I love how it gives uh, Ben some space to really get his voice through. Oh my god, it's so guttural. Fucking hell. Ooh. I love this building. I love the fact that it builds. Uh, I can hear some like faint ghost notes in there as well on the snares. Okay, that, that was a very interesting verse. About the first time I've heard Shadow do this kind of in a verse, very quiet, very sparse, really giving you that anticipation for something big. And, oh God, does it build. It fucking builds. And now uh, let's enjoy our chorus. Oh no, we're still building, we're still building. Mmm, may I have some coffee. Hit a like if you got coffee with you. I'm loving this so far. Loving it. Mm. Man, this is so epic. Yeah, this is so fucking epic. What the hell? I love it. I love it so much. Oh, background vocalist. Nice. Okay, first of all, that, that's a top tier chorus right there. That's one of the best of the year right there when it comes to a chorus. Why isn't this album dropping in 2021? Why well, have to be in 2022? I feel bad because I, I, I would love to put these guys on like the tier list for the year, but damn it, can't do it, can't do it. Maybe a single, maybe a single. Uh, did you think the previous single was better or is this one better? Write down below. Okay, black metal section. Oh my god, it just keeps going and going. It's so much. It's so much. 
Damn, that's so much. Like this band is just pushing the limits of how to write for deathcore. And man, it sounds so goddamn good. I'll probably repeat myself a lot with these compliments, but give me a give me a break here. It's out of intent. They've been killing it since the uh, and since their inception. I like it. It's kind of like a triplet feel here. Okay, we have our interlude. What do you think it's going to be? We're going to get a guitar solo, or do you think it's going to be an insane breakdown? Leave your comments down below. Really building. Oh god, this guitar sounds so metallic and so heavy. Ooh, and a chilling guitar solo with tapping. Got some Eddie Van Halen shit going on here. <clears throat> And of course, the sweet picking. I swear to God, their bases look like something straight out of 2008. Okay, first of all, um, great guitar solo. I don't think it fit that well with everything else. I think it came a bit out of nowhere. And I started to notice that a lot of deathcore bands, I think it's um, maybe some Lorna Shore. But uh, they tend to all have very similar styles of uh, guitar soloing where it's like sort of noodling a bit and then has to have that sort of sweet picking in it. Um, I have nothing against it, but I'm finding that it's becoming quite common, at least what I've, from what I've heard. Okay, back to chorus. But overall, I think I, this, I really dug this track. And I like that subtle touch of uh, background vocals. Hmm. I guess we're outroing with the intro, the piano intro. Yep. Okay, I'll, I'll stop there. Okay, Shadow of Intent from Room Wind Rise. Absolutely solid track. Loved it front to back. I liked the very sparse verse section. I wish that sort of made a return somewhere else in the track. I think that would have been really cool. We could have extended the track as well and just added in somewhere. I think it would have been a nice touch and it would create more of a dynamic shift throughout the track. I think writing wise, they've gotten better and better. I think their orchestral writing is top notch, especially for the underground deathcore scene. I don't know many bands who can pull off such good writing like this. The only sort of close resemblance I can think of is maybe like a band like Betraying the Martyr, but I found that at least here they're able to blend that orchestra better with their music. And that could be just due to the amazing mix job by Christian Donaldson, of course, Canada's number one tech death and all things underground mixing guy in the game. So it could be that. Ben's voice is always just mind blowing. You can't beat it. One of the best vocalists in the game for the f diversity in his voice and the layering as well that was happening during that first verse was disgustingly guttural and really beautiful. It was really beautiful. I also like the fact that um, all the sections were able to very naturally and organically bleed into the next one without feeling abrupt, um, especially for the more extreme kind of music. It can be kind of difficult sometimes to get it a nice clean transition, but once again, they successfully do that and even the small touches here and there, the choirs, the orchestration that really helped to create that sound bed so that we're always in the same spot musically going from one section to the next. And I think it was just done masterfully. I think Chris Wiseman, an amazing writer and producer uh, for this band and this band is so lucky to have him and they're so lucky to have uh, Bender on vocals as well. I generally think Shadow of Intent is the next big 
band if they're not already like the next big guys in the game i generally think so them and lorna shore have just been killing it non-stop but i will say i'm starting to go more onto the shadow of intense side just because i think it's so cleanly done it's so it's like a surgeon with a scalpel that's how good it is but yeah i've been rambling on enough you can probably tell i love this track i'm gonna give it a like but besides that thank you for watching right down below what did you think of the track did you like it did you not give this video a like if you enjoyed my thoughts on it and of course subscribe to keep updated on all the content coming out but besides that thank you for watching stay hydrated and i'll see you guys in the next video bye